Thanks for staying on here on the program. Uh, let's get into why the Ghana Revenue Authority has got to uh, go on uh, distress action to be able to collect unpaid taxes from defaulting companies. Last year, the Ghana Revenue Authority missed this revenue target by 13%, by 3%, rather, although it was a significant increase from the 2013 figure of 13.16 billion. In 2014, it was 17.07, but the target was 17.61 billion Ghana cities, and they missed that by 3%. And so they are, not, they are leaving nothing to chance right now. They've started their distress, distress action really early. Etanam says with the crew, and she's joined me over the telephone with some detail. Hello, Etanam. What are we looking at here? All right, the Ghana Revenue Authority at this moment uh, is on its way with the media to uh, Dawenya and Sema right now. What they are doing, they call enforcement action. Um, what it is is that, according to them, preliminary investigations indicate that some companies, about 60% of companies in Ghana, are not uh, issuing invoices to their customers, and so they are not paying taxes. And that is costing the country a lot of money. Um, they, so this morning we are going, we are in the company of some piece personnel. We are going to four construction companies. We are told they are coming with construction companies. So today we are going to four construction companies uh, to, according to the Ghana Revenue Authority, they are going to close down their companies and also arrest, take some arrest. Uh, so that's what we are doing this morning. So uh, the visit is just with four companies? Yes, for today. Um, mm. We are actually scattered all over. We are going to Dawenya. Uh, that's where we are heading now. Uh, some construction companies there in Dawenya. Mm. We'll go to Kokuase. We'll go to Agoba. And then finally, we'll go to Aoshi. Mm. We are told that these companies were, were, uh, are not paying taxes. And when you buy from them, they don't issue invoices. And so... They, we are, they're going to close down their companies and uh, as well effect some arrests. So collectively, like earlier, yes. Collectively, like how much? Before, how much are we expecting to take from these companies? Take back from these we, companies? We, we asked them the, 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 that exact thing, but they couldn't tell us the figure because they are yet to do the calculation. Mm. But uh, certainly, they said the, 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 the company, these four companies alone owe, owe a lot of money. Uh, so um, they are not only going to uh, arrest them, they are closing down their company and making sure that they pay back all that much. I see. How long is this process? Is, is, is this distress action the GR is embarking on? For how yes, long? Um, they are starting, they haven't given us specific timelines, but they are starting now with the Greater Accra region. So this is going to be replicated uh, across the country. Um, they have other companies spread across the country who are not paying taxes, who are not issuing uh, invoices to their customers. And so those, those companies who will be shut down, but of course, for security reasons, they will not tell us the names of these companies, but we are told that from the greater Accra region, they will be going to other regions. And so this, this exercise will be replicated in other regions. Uh, uh, do we know over what period they intend to do the distress action? Yes, next they are going to another region. This week is for the Greater Accra region. I because see. Next week they are going to another region, but they, they will not disclose the region for, for security reasons. Uh, last year, they embarked on similar action. Now, n defaulting on your tax payment is an offense uh, that could lead to prosecution or, or some penalties le levied against these companies. Did they tell you what, hap what, what, what the result of last year's distress action was? What um, the uh, 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 what we, we we gathered from the assistant commissioner, Dr. Dela Helu, who told us uh, 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 during the press briefing, he said that uh, the people who were arrested, companies that were shut down last year, and those who were arrested, of course, uh, they are being prosecuted. But what is important is for them to pay back the money. You know, import, most importantly, so that's what they are working towards. Even though the company is shut down, they are making sure that. They pay the money. So um, really, that is what the situation is.
Thank you very much, Etonam, for that information. Etonam C joined us uh, from, well, en route Tema with the Ghana Revenue Authority or, or uh, a distress action has decided to embark on somewhere in Dawenya. Now, many more companies are expected to be visited uh, later this week uh, by the authority. Uh, so if you're defaulting, again, I'm going to say you should expect them in the office or else just go ahead and pay.